In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to customize your Shopify store using the actual prestige theme. I will walk you through everything so that you can easily follow along and set up your store. Let's get started! First things first, you can head over to Shopify. If you haven't signed up yet, you can sign up using the link below in order to get the, a dollar for the free plan on your actual first month. We have in here the Prestige team. As you can see, they offer a limited free trial and it has a very good review. Let's click on the Destroy team right here in order to actually try this team. Once you have clicked on that, this will add this team to your online store teams list. So from in there, just wait for this to actually finish loading. As you can see, we've actually successfully added the Prestige. Our current theme right now is Horizon, so let's switch that to Prestige. In order to do this, you can head over and then click on the Publish option once you actually successfully buy it. But for now, let's try to customize this theme. Click on this Customize option, and then from in there, it should open your actual Shopify editor. In here, you can see the actual Prestige theme in action. Different themes have different elements added to them and how they are actually formatted. As you can see on the Prestige theme, they have the newsletter pop-up. We also have image slides, which is actually quite different to what Horizon have. On the actual homepage, we already have the featured collection into the actual group. And in here, we have placeholders for the product that we can add. In here, you can see the About page. In order to show our multi columns, and we also have in here another collection of our products that we actually offer. Now, if you want to actually edit the actual image slide right here, I actually recommend you to use Canva. You can head over and sign up to Canva using our link below as well. Once you're on your Canva and you have successfully signed up, you can head over and search for templates available. I search for Shopify banner. You can also filter them based on category as well as styles. For this one, let's scroll down and find here the style that we want. I'll head over and choose right here something like this. Let's click on it. And then from in there, click on the this customize this template. Once you have selected it, you can head over and edit the template that we have right here and then incorporate your own style of your brand. So for my brand, I'm actually aiming for something green. So I'll incorporate that to the actual Canva. Using your Canva, you can actually go over right here to the elements, or you can also upload a picture that you already have available. So for example, on this case, let's search in here for a green background. Canva has a lot of range of elements that you can actually incorporate. So you can just go over to the graphics, video, audio, and the like, and you can find in here what you're looking for. For example, let's add in here as an actual background. Let's change the black things into white in order to make them much more visible than earlier. Now you also have the option to change the images that you have right here. So just head over and change it. And once you're done, you can actually export the image or design. By clicking on the, the share option, clicking on the, the downloads, and then downloading it as PNG and click on download. Now, once you have successfully downloaded this particular design, you can head over back to your prestige theme on Shopify. As you can see, here's our image slide. So let's click on this image slide right here. Once you have selected it, you have the option to add in here an image. We have in here the pixels recommended. Click on the select, and then click on this upload image, and then upload the image that we're actually looking for right there. So let's head over and add in here this. Once you have successfully uploaded it, it should be able to appear right here. So just head over and then click on the check and click on done. As you can see, Canva has helped us design our website through a lot of ways. 
here is actually what it looks like right now. Now in here, let's change up the themes of our actual prestige. So in here, you can go over to the theme settings, head over to the colors, and as you can see right here, we're actually using the scheme one right now. So since I want to have a green scheme, let's click onto the scheme one, which actually uses this. Click on it. Click onto the background. And then you can just tweak with the color picker right here in order to actually get the theme that you want to use. I'll head over and use something like mid green just like this, and it should be able to be reflected already. You can also just copy the hex right here in order to apply it on other pages if you would want. So here is what it looks like right now. So as you can see, it's actually coming together now. We have in here our image slide, our collection, we all can also add in here our background gradients and the likes. So as you have noticed, our product collection is actually quite empty. Let's head over and add some products. Head over right here to your Shopify, and then from in there, you can actually add some products based on to the actual thing that you want added. So you have the option to add a product or import using a CSV file or import from another platform. Now in this case, I want to actually use my Shopify to drop ship. So let's head over and install an application that we can use for the drop shipping business that we will have. Once you have clicked on Add Apps, scroll down and click on the Shopify App Store. From in there, it should be able to redirect you to the Shopify Marketplace for the apps. Head over and click on this search option right here. And then search in here for dropshipping. There's actually a lot of options or applications that we can use on this particular business. But I recommend you to use the Deezers right here. Since it's actually a trusted tool, or you can also use Zendrop. As you can see, they have a lot of stars and reviews. So if you would want, you can also sign up on Deezers using our link on the description below. Once you're in here, click on this install option. And then from in there, they should be able to redirect you to the Deezers app proxy in order to log you in or sign you up to your Deezers account. Head over and click on this install option. And from there, just wait for this to be actually installed. It will direct you now to the teasers. So in here, you can see this login and authorize option. So on default, your Shopify email address has been used to create a teasers account login. This app can now access your product information, order information, and the likes. You can log in and authorize, or you can also change account based on this. If you do want to change account, you can sign up altogether through a new place. So just use our link below in order to sign up. You can click on this create account and then input right here your email and password that you would want to use. Once you have signed up using your link below, head over and click on this confirm option. And then from in there, you will be redirected to the actual dashboard of Deezers. You can see in here the price that you can get. We have Enterprise, Pro, Advanced, as well as Free. You can also see in here the features that are available based on each plan. For this case, let me head over and do the basic plan first. But using your link below, you can actually have some discounts on Deezers. Now in here, you can link and authorize your AliExpress account. And just click on the this option right here in order to do this. If you don't have an AliExpress account, you can also not click on the this options right here, and you can also do this options like Temu as well as Alibaba. Now we are prompted right here to actually link or register to our actual AliExpress. You can also go over to our link below in order to register to our AliExpress platform in order to start your dropshipping business. Let me head over and then sign up right here. Now from in here, as you can see, I can now successfully access the teasers. I have linked the AliExpress account and we can now go over it to our product research. So in here, we can see featured TikTok ads. You can search by keywords based on this. 
For example, let's find in here trending bags that we can actually sell into our Shopify store. We can see in here some ads that actually go over and then trying to promote that particular product. Now in here you can find some particular options or products that you can actually add. And in here you can find those products from the AliExpress platform as well as other platforms that we have available. We have AliExpress, Timu, and Alibaba. You can also add another platform if you would want. Now in this case, input right here the keyword research that we have earlier. Input right here the bag. Click on the search option. And then from in there, it should be able to show you some products that actually has this particular keyword. So here they are right here. You can just select the bags that you want to add. For example, let's add in here this bags that we have. So this right here have the potential to actually generate you some sales. So just click onto this checkbox and click onto this add to import list. Now from in there, once you have clicked on it, you can choose in here the settings or the language of the product information. Click on confirm if you want to just use English or you can also choose other language from that list. Now as you can see, it's been successfully imported. So let's head over to our import list to check it. Now that those products are in here, just click on this checkbox and click on this push to store. Now in here, you can choose in here some options as well as references that you want. Now from in there, make sure to input right here some pricing rules if you want, change up the shipping cost, price, and the likes. Once you have done that, click on this push to stores option and then wait for this to finish the login process. Now in here, you can see the actual logs for those status. Once it reached 100%, they should be able to reflect directly into your Shopify store. So just wait for this right here. So now they have successfully been imported. You also have the option to import reviews if you would want. If you've done that, you will be redirected to the Luxet.io, which is an app from Teasers itself. It requires another installation. So if you want, you can also head over to our link below and you can go and then have a free trial based on our actual link. Now let's check over right here our products. Head over to the products option and then refresh it. Click on this refresh icon. And then from in there, you should be able to see the products that we have imported from these service into our store. As you now, you can see right now they are actually available now when you head over to your actual store right here they should be able to appear already on this collection just wait for a few seconds before it actually appears all together into this part now on this you can now sell this drop shipping products you just selected them you don't need to add them manually since we have these for us now, as you can see, we have now a dropshipping business into our Shopify. Next thing we need to do is to head over to our settings and then personalize our own store. So let's head over right here into the domains option. And then from in there, you should be able to see your own domain. As you can see, our domain is just a bunch of numbers and letters. You can change that into a new myshopify.com domain. Or you can also connect an existing domain that you have actually bought. For that particular task, I actually recommend you to use Namecheap. You can use our link and code below in order to get a discount into their domain. So for this case, let's input right here the domain that you want to use. So for example, let's input right here dropship by me. You can click on the search option. And then they should be able to give you some domain extensions available based on the name that you have inputted right here. So we have in here dropshipbyme.com. It costs around $11 per year. We also have .org, .ai, and the likes. And the cheapest one is .xyz, which is only a dollar a year, which is actually a really good deal. So for this, let's click on this Add to Cart, and you can just input your payment information in order to successfully pay for this particular domain. Once you have paid for it, you can click on this Connect Existing Domain, and then input right here the domain that you have actually bought. 
click on next and then from there you should be actually be able to personalize your website using this domain that we have so as you can see right here free stitch theme is actually a good theme that we have available so if you have actually learned a lot from this tutorial don't hesitate to subscribe like and comment any of your ideas thank you so much for watching